The aquatic food is the food that is produced in aquatic systems. So this includes oceans, but also rivers and lakes. It provides, according to the FAO estimate, livelihoods to over 600 million people worldwide. It provides proteins and essential nutrients to nearly 3 billion people in the world. And something that people don't often know is that fish is one of the most uh, traded commodity in the world, representing a market of over $400 billion annually. But it's also a low carbon footprint source of animal protein compared to all the other sources of animal protein. So it is definitely part of the climate solution. There cannot be food security without aquatic food and there cannot be climate adaptation and mitigation without aquatic food. So despite the importance of the sector and its high vulnerability to climate change, this is a sector that has been overlooked in the climate negotiations. Interestingly, now there is a mandated ocean dialogue that COP has requested to hold every year. And this year, the ocean dialogue is focusing on fisheries and food security and resilience of coastal ecosystems. It is excellent news that fisheries and food security will be put on the table of the COP28 this year because the national policies need to include uh, the sector in a more prominent way and have more climate-sensitive policies on aquatic food.